Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes. So, it's been a while guys. It's been a long, long while. And, yeah, school has caught up with me along with just about everything else. And I have been just unbelievably busy. I haven't really had any time during the week to record. But, I do have to say, I am happy that you guys are happy with me building this base because I have seen massive subscriber growth which is just the weirdest thing to me but I, I've been talking about this probably the last couple episodes but it has just been awesome so one of the things I'm going to really mention right now is uh, once again if you guys have a mod or know of a mod that I should use I mean look at the bottom in my description those are the mods I'm using right now and ooh. Yeah, I, I should be paying more attention to the launch. But yeah, in my description, that is all the mods I'm using right now. So if you see anything that I'm not using, there ha have been a few people who have been mentioning specific mods to use. I have definitely been listening to you. The only problem is, is just that I'm waiting until after I build this base to start really adding on. If it's like a part mod where it's basically just parts, and it's not really going to mess with anything else, I'll, I'll consider putting it on like in, as soon as I possibly can. But uh, right now, I've been kind of holding off on any other real parts just because, and any other real stuff, just because I don't want it to mess up anything as far as the game is concerned and the min miss base. But the one thing I will say is I do know that I can like save my persistence file and stuff like that and I will be adding more mods as time goes on just you know bear with me at least for right now and uh, you know eventually we'll add a lot a lot lot more so I mean I think right now my current mod list is up to like maybe 10 or so 12 um, actually not 12 maybe like 10 but yeah definitely so yeah, I, I've just been really busy. Uh, one of the things I have been doing, though, is I've been playing a new game. I've been kind of cheating on Kerbal Space Program. Uh, you know, the game that I got, I mean, it's kind of like day, uh, Seven Days to Die, sort of. I think most of you guys have heard of it, at least. It's called uh, Day Z. And I've been messing around with that game for a while now. And I'm actually considering starting up a series here eventually with it. And I mean, I know a lot of you guys have found me through Kerbal Space Program. And most of the other games that I have have been playing, Seven Days, uh, Dead Space, and all those other... Um, what is it? Uh, Don't Starve. And a lot of other games. I, you know, I, I don't know exactly... If you guys want to see any of that other stuff, and I always appreciate it when somebody says, like, oh yeah, um, definitely I would love to see more DayZ, or I would love to see something. So, I mean, if you guys want to see that, and you want me to upload some videos of that, um, right now, I mean, I'm currently playing with Naughty Games, which is kind of the number one person that I, I definitely always endorse him, and anybody who really wants to go to his channel and check out his videos go ahead and do that because it would be much appreciated by me and him so it'll probably be like a co-op style uh gameplay him and i playing and uh possibly someone else one of his friends possibly i'm not sure or maybe some other people i i don't know yet exactly if we're gonna build like a group or if it's just gonna be us two or how it's all going to come together but I was considering doing that eventually and I'm pretty much almost on the brink of just saying yeah I'm going to do it but I would also love to hear you guys' feedback so definitely uh, just let me know if you guys want to see stuff like that so but yeah definitely been cheating on Kerbal I think it's gonna get a little angry so in this episode what we will be doing for this mission is getting our launch pad to the surface of Minmus and docking it all up. The one thing I will say is there will be some construction possibly in this episode. I'm kind of debating on whether or not I'm going to actually cut it out because there will it kind of is going to take a while for me to put everything together. And we have to 
kill the engine, and I just gotta set this thing as an actual... Uh, there we go. Yeah, gotta set this as a actual flight, because I have debris set to zero, so basically, if I do something wrong, we lose the flight. So... The other thing I, that I wanted to mention too is if you guys want me to, I, I'm not like completely opposed to it, but I, in certain cases I am, but if you want me to set my debris back on, I'd be willing to do that. Like I don't really care as far as the modded series is concerned 100% because, it, you know, to me it's just, uh, I, I've been having fun with this. This is more of doing things that I have done before only really ramping them up and making them better and cooler and bigger and faster and more awesome. So the Minmus base is definitely one of those things that uh, really spoke to me. It was like kind of the first thing I really wanted to do out of this modded series is just to see what how big and how awesome a Minmus base can actually get with uh, mods involved. So let's see. I don't think we have time warp on. It just feels like we're getting very, very close to that node really, really, really quickly. So I'm going to disable this, turn on the RCS. That way we can move a little bit faster. There we go. So it looks like we got a fairly good amount of fuel as well. Um, we didn't really use a lot on the launch here. So I, I'm thinking that we're probably going to be able to ride out this tank basically until the Minmus burn, which will be pretty awesome. Considering most of the time, I usually don't end up having enough fuel to do the full Minmus burn here. There we go. Perfect. This is like falling together so nicely. So, let's see. But yeah, the one thing I was thinking too is possibly maybe looking into a few different games uh, not because I'm running out of stuff for Kerbal but just because um, we might have someone new on my channel possibly I was thinking I could possibly get my girlfriend involved with a few different things I don't know if it's going to be a possibility or not or whatever but I was thinking that you know I, I could maybe try to get her to play something with me um, that does not even sound right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait until the moon gets out of our way. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you once we get in orbit around Minmus.
And we're back, guys. Yeah, so I had a little bit of problems. Um, one of them being I kind of screwed up before I was recording and everything else. I didn't set up the vessel right, but uh, everything's pretty good right now. I tried to replicate kind of what we had last time, but, um, you know, everything's looking pretty good, at least as it is for right now. So I'm just going to get us into a perfect landing. Hopefully. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. So these will become... Just bring this down a little bit. Let's see. Oh, God. Did we already pass that? Yeah, we did. That, that sucks. All right. We'll do it over here. So bring that down. Switch this over. And then just bring it down again. Yeah, there we go. This is looking real good. So yeah, I haven't really been concerned with the landing so far. I was just a little bit upset that I screwed up the vessel. But there's not much I can do about that now. But um, other than re-recording -re the entire episode, which I don't really honestly feel like doing at the this point. Because this freaking module is just so awesome. So let's just get our burn set up here and get get this all fixed so we can get down on the surface already. So the one thing I will say is we definitely, definitely, um, I, I don't know exactly how the build sequence is going to work out. I think I might cut most of it out and then just cut back in once we're actually getting the landing pad hooked up to the base, but... There's a part of me that kind of wants to put some of it in there, but I, I really don't know how much because honestly, it might take me a little while to get everything all set up. So this is looking like it's going to be a freaking perfect landing other than me having to slow down like now-ish. So let's just do the burn right here. There we go. Yep. It's looking amazing. So yeah, definitely let me know, guys, on the mods and on the games. You know, once again, I have people do recommend the mods that I already have installed. I'm not trying to insult you by saying, why do you keep recommending a mod that I already have installed? Because, yeah, what, yeah I'm, I'm not trying to say that. All I'm saying is that, uh, basically, if you know of something that's Kerbal-like parts or just something that you think is really amazingly awesome that I should install there are a few mods that i will be adding here very shortly one of them i think is going to be universe replacer even though i know that really doesn't change much in the game other than basically all of this the background but i, I still think that one is a very very awesome looking mod i was really interested in seeing how it would look with a little bit of a different universe um because I'm kind of sick of the old one, and plus you can see the lines in the JPEG or whatever kind of format the picture's in. I don't know. I, I kind of figure it's like a JPEG or something, because that's pretty much all it really could be. At least I think so. So, let's see. Getting very close now. The one thing I will say is... I have been just unbelievably happy with everything, and I've said this already, but once again, I really do gotta thank you guys for watching and it, just everything else. It's just been so awesome, and I really am happy that everyone is just ex as excited as I am to see this base being built. And we got a lot of lag right now. This base is a little bit laggy when it loads in, but once it's loaded in, it's pretty much fine. So th that's kind of where I'm going to sit with that. And we got to land in front of the base a little bit. I would prefer to be on the front. But, and, uh, wow, that, that, that just didn't even sound right. But I definitely want to get, get some other building, just get other stuff done in this game. Um, the one major thing I think would be awesome to have, and we got to cancel off this motion here. That is not good. The one thing I thought would be really cool to have as well, but 
maybe not so soon, but I'm thinking about starting construction, is the Starship. I have been talking about it. I do have some designs. That the, the major thing is, is that I'm trying to really create something that's a lot different than anything I've built before. So because of that, uh, the development is taking a lot longer and it's going to be a lot more complex, but at the same time, it's going to have the same kind of aspects as most of my other builds have had. Let's see, we gotta go this way a little bit. I wanna land more towards the front of the base, that's where we need to be. I'll put the gear down too. There we go. Looking beautiful. I was considering adding some other stuff to this, I just kinda was like, eh, just leave it out. I was gonna put batteries on it and stuff like that, that I, normal stuff that I always kinda slap on a lot of my builds, kind of at the last second. But. Let's see, just bring this over a little bit. Uh, well, we need to go back that way, yeah. There we go. So let's cancel this out in a second. This thing is so light that we're barely even descending, at least for right now. Slow this down. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the sky crane to attach this though. That that is one of the things that I figured would be easier to do that way than uh, use the crane. It would be a little bit faster as well because I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I tried to angle everything the right way with these landing or with the engines so that they weren't blowing directly down because the docking port is here. The docking port over here will be connecting right there, so you'll have a tube that's running basically right underneath this. So if anything is basically blowing down on it, it's going to screw stuff up. So, But I think I should do one thing while we're here, and the lights aren't on on the base, which sucks. I mean, some of the lights are, but the uh, landing light is not on. But I could do this, and this is what it will look like once it's fully set up. I put the strobes on it, everything. Speed up a little bit, there we go. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, so we got the strobes and the blue and red lights to indicate each side and all that cool stuff. I think it looks freaking amazing. So I am going to start construction here. I don't know how long this is going to take me, but... Um, I'll maybe put some of it in. I'm not sure yet, but uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, I'll see you once everything, or at least once I get the, all the other stuff connected. Yes, so we are back. Amazing. I am very excited to see what's going to just about to happen. Um, I feel like we should get the base a little prepared. There we go. Um, I'll just disable the lights and then turn them back on again just to make sure everything. This one does have a light, but for some reason, and you can see when this strobe light goes off too, these all spaz out. I, I don't know what's going on with it. And you can even see these have lights as well, but the light doesn't show on the ground. I don't know what that is or how to fix that. I take it you're not really supposed to have this many modules, this many lights on the surface and all of that, but uh, yeah, so let's get this thing docked up now so just take off here and just kind of line things up I, I really don't think this is gonna be so hard but you know it, it yeah I, I don't know honestly there's probably a good chance there's something bad is gonna happen by the way I should quick save just to say yeah that that yeah um, I did have a lot of problems connecting things up I have been getting bugs and stuff basically uh, where the game just crashes completely crashes and there's really nothing I can do about it and it is just heavily annoying because 
Starting up this game with mods isn't exactly an easy thing to do. Most of you guys know this as well. Um, you know, it, it basically, every mod you add, and with parts especially, it increases the load time on the server, or on the, on the server. Um, it, it increases the load time basically just for the game. So basically, if, if you have a lot of mods, uh, your load time will be insane. I, I don't know, there's somebody before, I can't remember their name, but they basically stated that they had about 30 mods running, and I wonder how long it actually took you to start your game. That, that's all I gotta say, because I am getting already impatient with the amount of time it takes. But, this base, oh my god, I, I can't believe how far we've gotten. This is my first legitimate base, too, where um, it, every one of the parts I've created, as far as everything, I've actually attached up to the base. Whereas all my other bases before where basically, a uh, base was basically, uh, they, they had, like, certain parts I would add, and it was like I came up with stuff as I went. Especially the, uh, landing pad here, which I am hoping works so we gotta kind of cancel off all our motion here real quick I would prefer to just land there we go so we need to go a little bit off to the right here if you want to call it right I, I really don't know what to call it I think that's looking really good uh, hmm yeah that that is looking really good. Oh god. Yeah, it was like really good before. The SAS, I tell you, is just way too freaking powerful. There we go. So, let's go. Come on. Oh god, we're taking off. So, once again, I really am like very excited that you guys are loving my base building and all that stuff. A lot of people have really come to this channel because of the base and everything else which I have been really excited about and if you guys like this stuff you know I really will go all out and start building all kinds of crazy stuff on the surface but uh, if you guys want to see like a mega ship or something be built that is kind of my bread and butter too I love building mega ships and we're off by a lot here I got fairly close. I mean, you can't complain with that. I'm gonna back up though and get away from this just so Um, Come on. No, 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 no. I Don't like that. I Don't like that at all But it looks like we're fairly close Which I'm not gonna complain there we go. Uh, I, that was, yeah, that, that was really easy. I, I did not expect that to be so easy. Now, this base is a little bit, uh, watch, um, it's a little funky. Yeah, yeah. It's not that bad. I mean, I wish I could fix some of that stuff, but it's really, uh, with docking ports and the way they get docked, I think has some kind of strange effect where, uh, it just doesn't work right a hundred percent it doesn't look right so I'll turn the torque off here and did I put a no I did not so we're going to have to power up and then decouple like we did before I should quick save yeah before we uh, destroy something so power up and decouple holy oh my god holy Jesus just come down in one piece please one piece would be nice we'll see you later uh, thank you for the help but oh my god it's just <laughs> oh, that's not good so let's see what happens yet yeah, that, that was that wasn't that bad 
So it looks like this thing over in the background is still uh, run, running around or whatever. I right, still running. So let's turn on our lights. Now that is freaking intense. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so awesome looking though. Basically, I put blue on one side and red on the other to kind of like show where one side is and the other. I kind of wanted to put green on here, but we didn't have, I don't think we have four colors. Actually, we do. We have like orange and, uh, orange and green, but that would just be too many freaking colors. That just looks awesome the way it is. I'm just, I don't even care. That, that just looks freaking amazing but I figured I should put strobes on it that way when we're coming in over the top you can kind of make out where the center of the strip is and you can see I put a light in each one of the, if you see these little holes here I put a light in each one of them so you kind of have an idea where center is and then you can see blue and red next to it so you know blue here and then red here and Jeb is just hanging out over there, and this thing is still running. I, I don't know how that's still running. And let's see. If, oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Go up. 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 I can't even shut the engines off. Nor do I have control. Alright, yes. Ha just head away from the base. Away from the base. Oh, there we go. Come on. I want control of Jeb. Please. There we go. Jeb? Where's, where's Jeb? There we go. Hey, Jeb. So, we can see, basically, uh, the one thing I will cover on the surface of this as well, you can see these docking ports are clipped into each other just a little bit. And they are actually kind of bugging out right now, at least those parts. Now, I did test this out before. It worked. So, I'm really hoping that it will work again. And it won't just be trolling me or anything like that. But it, it, it works, hopefully. I, I don't know if the clipping stuff still works or whatever. But I don't really like clipping parts. But I ended up creating a different style launch or a landing pad, which you guys can see, it's basically just one, a whole bunch of these panels here with the docking ports on the other side. Now, basically, I will come in and land right there, and I will be testing that out our next episode. So, I will be building a refueler that will definitely, we definitely, definitely need a refueler. So... If we're going to be building mega ships, we're going to need a refueler. And, you know, if we're going to be producing fuel down here, we're definitely going to need that. So, hopefully, I can come up with something that works out pretty well. So, anyways, guys, uh, we have basically a, pretty much a completed refinery set up here. And, my God, does it look amazing. So, anyways, thank you for watching. If you guys like what you see here, subscribe to all you new people. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.